Okay, Legends Festival 2024. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. I was not, no way in hell was I going to wake up as only I would have to to watch this. So I'm, I'm watching this after it's aired. I'm still waking up if you... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, let's get this done and over with. Because after this... I need to watch me the newest episode of Don and Don as well. So yeah, let's 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 get this done and over with. Let's just fast twenty twenty four. So they're just gonna go. You know, the best thing about it being post is that um I can just fast forward all the stuff we don't care about in the stalling. But it's actually okay. It's cool that they're actually going through everything that they did. Um. Throughout the year up till now. Um, special video. Special video. To the brim with nice, alright. All Even though this is post, post it coming out, I don't know anything. Course, like, I don't even see the YouTube recommendation feed here. I don't see it. I don't know what's happening. Again. Event info, okay, let me see. To celebrate, we're doing a total of so it goes up to Beast Go On. That could be really good. Especially for new players. Okay, free stuff. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? So it goes up to Goku and Frieza. That could be pretty good. Wait, so 98th goes to UI and Broly. 99th goes up to Trunks and Perfect Cell. The first one. And then the 100th goes up to MVP 17. And then when you do it the second time, it goes up to... Okay, I see, I see. Festival Studios. Everything else is Zenkai slash Fata up until you get to step 2. So you can do all Even then, the best thing you can get is probably Goku and Frieza and Beast. The Red Beast. You can earn something special. Okay, cool. That login bonus. And the, the big about the Monday thing as well. Okay, this is all... Cool, good blogging stuff. Alright. Alright. Five. Oh, that's not as many as last time. So, this. Wait, if it's five raids, it's gonna be shorter than last time, probably. This fest. Actually, no, because it'll go into Jan. Mmm. Because mm. it's. The Lastly, there will be a festival version fourth week of November, so week one, week two, week three, week four, week four. Oh yeah, because then it technically goes into New Year, which might be its own thing. Wait, what's this? Koi Boy, Special Missions, and more Chrono Crystals. Okay. So far, all the usual stuff. So far, everything that we already expect. It's been a while. Character info. These are the past videos. Okay, okay. So expectations might be pretty Let's high. see. We expecting future. We expecting infusions of Masu. Probably not gonna be GT. I don't know where else it could be outside of future. Uh, future of Masu and, and uh, future. There's only really one path in my head, honestly. Future. Fusions of Masu. Sent him word from Dragon Ball Super. Huh? Joins the fight. What the fuck? A base Vegito? I mean, technically future, but I don't think we just want another Vegito right now, honestly. Oh, he's gonna go blue. He's gonna go blue. <laughs> He's gonna go, there's no way he doesn't go blue here, right? Fijito? Blue! Yep, there we go. Alright. So they basically just redid second year BB. Alright. What the fuck? Oh! We're doing a 
original LF animation. Okay. Okay. I did not expect that. Wait a second. Oh. An original LF animation. Oh, that's cool. Hold on. I, I, I need to see the whole thing. Hold on. And. Yep, here it is. No way the dude wasn't going to do some monster here. No way, right? Oh, he starts off in base? A base Goku Black. Is not gonna be a fusion? You just go to Zay? That's kind of disappointing, honestly, but cool. I, we were all hoping for fusion, fusions of Masu, you know. But this could be cool still. We already. Uh, wait, hold on. They might be cooking here. Brother, I mean that's cool. One, we really had the exact same elf before. They just be dead. <laughs> These are cool characters, don't get me wrong. But one, we expect a fusion of Masu. Number two, the illusions be dead fucking... They just did fucking Dokkan. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a fucking second. It was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really, they really just did this, didn't they? They absolutely just did this. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not too mad that they did this. But it's just kind of funny. One. And two, the part I'm a little bit tilted about is that for some reason they decided to fucking hold on, let me fucking pull them up. Is I can just go to future here. They redid LFVB, which you know what? Sure, you could use a revamp LF and an original LF, so that's cool. But they just fucking revamped this fucker. <laughs> This, I guarantee you, I haven't watched the rest of this, but I fucking guarantee you, this guy is going to get a fucking unique equipment. He is going to get a unique equipment, this celebration. I guarantee you. And you know what? It probably won't be useless, because of fucking, where is it? There's no shot it'll be useless. Because, right here. He has a fucking Android effect of always having nullifying endurance. So, if you rush with this guy, nullify endurance, fucking, yeah, it'll be GG rip to any unit that he comes across, because he's always going to nullify endurance. So, if they give him a unique equipment, he'll always have that use and value. <laughs> so, <laughs> but fuck. What the fuck? Huh? A GT character on a future ba What? Mine makes sense, but what? A GT character on a future banner. Well, I guess maybe they can make a powerful opponent. But they aren't going to be powerful opponents, though. Cell and Freeze are not going to be powerful opponent because they're not going to be the final boss of that saga. I'm pretty sure the boss of that saga was Super 17. Yeah, it was Super 17, I think, for that part of the show where they showed up. So, they're not going to be powerful opponents. So, huh? That, are they making a powerful opponent? But no. Okay, that confuses, that, 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 that confuses me. Yeah, okay, it's in the subtitles. I'm an idiot in the subtitles. What? Cell and Frieza can help beef up the GT party. And since they also have a Z ability that will buff future characters, huh? it can 
What? Wait, I'm confused. What the fuck? I, I, I haven't watched GT so maybe I'm just fucking stupid, but what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Transformation Boost one in general first. So I know Dogon categories aren't the go to for this probably. But it was a pretty damn good, you know, guiding light. But how the fuck are you fucking think I buffing, buff, buffing future while being on GT? What kind of again I didn't watch the show. I didn't watch GT. So I don't know, but that confuses the fuck out of me, huh? Yeah, yeah, I don't know how. It's on, okay, you're on Tunch Jobs, but that's because you're Cell. How the fuck are they on Future? Not, I'm not gonna be on Future, but buff Future. What? Actually, it's a mass. Actually, it's a massive Roshi shit. Buffs Peppy Gals, but he's not in the fucking category. Oh, you know what? You don't want to see Peach Penguin from last year, a double step up from a real disturbance. You know what they can do? They can Zenkai Green Mine as well. That'd be insane Zenkai buffer. Ability for Conquer Chrome Cell and Primal Flame Fairy Blast. Here's a quick tutorial card. Shrek of a change? Shrek blue card. Looks like a stop time green card. No blast armor. Another strike card. I mean, strike, um, blue card. And ultimate arts. Okay. So, so, I don't, I don't need this. Um. So it starts blue, and then Freezer goes purple. They really just refer- they really just reverse to Goku and Freezer. Okay, um... Yeah, how the fuck is this happen? What? What? How- Oh, you know what? I think I know why this happens now. Cell's on future. Oh. It, that makes sense now, but it's still kind of silly. <laughs> it's still silly, but okay, at least that makes fucking sense. Um, where's a fucking tag character? Um, no, you assist. Um, yeah. So because so was a part of the tag character, he gets tagged. Some, for example, Vegeta Blue, this guy. He's on Goku and Vegeta clan because the card features both Goku and Vegeta. But it also features Vegeta, uh, Gogeta. So it's also on Fusion Warrior. So because fucking Cell's on fucking Future, this fucking character that normally wouldn't be on it has Future. <laughs> so you could technically. That's funny. Wait, GT, Future, and Android. Okay, that's interesting. Awaken Arts. That's been a while since we've seen an Awakened Arts. Okay. Deals enemy on hit. Oh, it's bringing back the Roshi mechanic. If all the following conditions are met. Uh, looks like... It's really just the same exact thing as the Roshi Mechanic. Okay, cool. Um, high recovery and combo capabilities. When Cell switches to Frieza... And then, okay, right? You still have health. You get card draw speed. Okay, that's good. And you get health and key upon learning a uh, card. Okay, cool. It, that seal could be interesting. All right, let's see how what my does. Let's see what my does. Is, did I miss something here? 
I might fast forward too far. Strike of a change. Black is that a projectile blue card? Okay, projectile blue card. Slap time green card. No blast armor. Strike ultimate. Okay, looks good. Red. Okay. Um. Good tags, good elements. We could use a red unit. Probably not ranged, but red is still good right now. A firing effect occur every time this character uses a blast card. You get damage and critical rate. You draw a new card twice when using a blast, when landing a blast card, and then you have a chance to inflict heavy bleed, poison, paralysis, according to the number of times this character's black. Ooh, that could be annoying. But then again, I imagine the Ultra Majin Vegeta is still gonna be good. So you have to be careful. Uh, actually, it depends on what uh, her kit is, but maybe she has a way of dealing with Majin Vegeta. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um. But that could be a fucking annoying. Heavy bleed, poison, or paralysis. So it's not gonna be. So it's either gonna be one of the three, each proc, or each proc could be one, and then another proc is gonna be one, and another proc. That could, depending on that, this is. Okay, what I'm saying is that. Fucking English. It could be every time it's hit, there's a chance to be one of the three, or every time you get hit. There's a chance for heavy bleed, there's a chance for poison, and there's a chance for paralysis. It could be what it could be that as well, if that makes sense. And that could be super fucking annoying. Um support abilities. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Apply the following effects when this can do switch to standby. Uh draw a card and then increases damage if file member on this character is, is When this character in this battlefield, he she nullifies endurance. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I need to look at her full kit when that comes out. But that last ability, yeah, that's a way to deal with Majin Vegeta. All right, that's definitely a way to deal with Majin Vegeta. Okay. That's um pretty damn good if I if, if you can't tell. Okay, Vegito animations. Okay, um let me see here. Strike up a change into a melee based blue card. Okay. So I assume the green card's gonna be the same. He has Blast Summer. That's a green card, that's a blue card, the book another base. So the blue is the LF, okay. So it's got like a combination of heat dome and then something else. That looks cool. That looks fucking cool. Okay. I, I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Alright. Okay, we'll look at the full kit later. Let's go into a Zay now. Let me see. Green. Okay, cool. Um So Shrike cover change. Melee base blue card. Stop time green. Oh no, it's not stop time green. It's a strike counter. Okay, I like that. Um Cool transformation. Mm. Oh wait, hold on. Let me rewind that. So it's a project. It's a. Oh, they have like an androids um green card. So it's not projectile. But it's a oh, I mean it is a key base. I guess is the best way to say it. it's key base green card. Melee blue card. And that's the LF, okay. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, that looks cool. I, okay, I fuck with them. I fuck with these LF animations. And Goku Black's yellow. Future God Key Path Performer makes sense. We look at that later. And looks like we're going to add nothing else. And free play, race trunks, you get dual, treasure battle, choice battle. This guy could get unique equipment that could turn out decent ish. Um, then, no one else here looks like they can get it. Eh, yeah, no. Wait, it's all future and then all GT. So that means GT is part two? Probably, honestly. New unique equipment for future. Okay. There's a bonus going on. Mega upgrade bonus. Cool. Oh! Wait a second. What? Green Trunks getting a Zenkai. Hold on. What? Whoa! You he heard him. So far, the sign got the celebration strong. So I'm not mad. So far, the sign got strong. Green hybrids. Thank God. Um. No bait. No fake out. Okay. The thing about fucking Green Tr with Future. The thing about this Green Trunks is that he was always good. Except that his timing was unfortunate. Is that he, he never had a proper home. At this time, Hybrid Saiyans was, um, what's it called? Blast based. Because if you look at hybrids, um. Wait, not that's melee. Um. Hybrids. This is during the reign of, well, not not the reign, but like post reign, FSK. So if you want, if you want to run hybrids, you'd run this guy. You would fucking run with fucking revival Gohan. He should be around here somewhere. Revival Gohan, and then you'd run um, what's it called? You'd run. This guy, you'd run Future Gohan. He was good. It's just that he never had a home on either hybrids. And then Future, same thing. I'm pretty sure the Future team at that time. This was post Legends Fest 2021. No, post Legends Fest, it was. After, yeah, 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 it was after MUI because he was meant to like somewhat counter the androids as well. So, yeah, he himself was good. It's just that everything surrounded his release, which is unfortunate timing that did not run well because at this time, MUI and fucking androids and Vegito, Ultra Super Vegito, were running the game, which so is unfortunate. But he himself was always good. His Zenkai could be really fucking good, really, really fucking good. Icon gifts, okay, sure. Um, the, oh, there's a bunch of acids and shit. Okay, cool. Um, Vegito. That's what people are gonna be um excited for. So Z ability, future vision warrior, gonna keep strike and blast attack. If eighty percent to future strike defense. Okay, good Z ability. Last armor on strike, blast, inflict damage received. Blue card, massive, special move damage upon activation, upon hit, you destroy three enemy cards, reduce enemy key, destroy enemy Dragon Ball. Okay, that's nice. Um, green card. I'm pretty sure it was a stop time if I remember right. And then look back, I'm pretty sure it was a stop time. I need to mute this. Um, where are you, fucks? Charging forward green card. Maybe it's different post 
it might be different. Because I know it had blast armor. Okay, so I'm assuming it's a stop time screen card in the beginning before it transforms. Okay. So you draw a card, restore health, gain leakage up a little bit, damage reflected, you get strong sub count a little bit, and you inflict negative health restoration. Okay, cool. My ability. You turn blue, you draw some cards, you get health key, you get advantage back. Okay. Solid main ability. It has basically everything you need for it to be good. So, alright. Upon battle start, you get 150% damage reduction, card draw, negative odds cost. No fights cover enough for 30 counts. Okay, that's very. This is a very solid start. Um, let me look at the last LF we got. Um. It'd be go tanks. What does he start at? He'd be good comparison. 140. Okay. So he starts out a little bit more than go tanks. And then uh, he goes he transforms as well. So this isn't even gonna be stupider when he transforms. Okay. When he enters the battlefield, he gets 30%, 80% here. Go tanks upon entry. Gets the So yeah, he's just gonna come out. Fucking swinging. Yikes. He's already at what? 180, 192. He's already at 230% damage inflicted, if I'm math right. Yeah, he's, he's already at 230. Holy fuck. And considering he's gonna have transformation stats as well after this, it's gonna be fucking crazy. He's gonna do so much fucking damage. Um, um When you enter the battlefield, Negative Arts Power and Negative Special Move Awaken. Okay, that's good. He's green, if I remember right. Correct? Um, yeah, he is green. Let me look at the last Vegeta Blue we got. Fuck. I should have done this earlier. Uh, Future Fusion Warrior God Key. Uh, future needs help. Enough said. Um, Fusion Warrior. Green, you're probably gonna want to run Omega on Fusion Warrior anyways. Because you need that safeguard. You need that indestructible nowadays. Unless Vegeta has a mechanic that I don't know of. I think probably Omega is still gonna be the main save for Fusion Warrior. And then Gaki. Da this will probably replace God Goku if you ever if you for some reason you run him. Yeah, I get God Goku out of here. Um A positive flying effect itself every time Sticky uses a strike a blast off card. Draw a card once as upon use, okay. He damage. Considering he has minus arts cost as well, that's gonna be really good. The flying effect occur every activate auto counter or evade action. Ooh. Fifty percent to unique gauge charge rate that cannot be cancelled once activated. Fuck. Uh, strong sub count by five. Reduce enemy key. Cancels buffs and upgrades. Increase enemy odds cost. Activation count is shared before and after transforming. So it's based on his unique gauge. So his unique gauge is basically the same pre and post transformation. Okay. Um. Knock I mean back in long range. If a cover changes the form, it's against a strike arts. With a blue card, we know that. Um. The following effects occur every time I hit with the enemy arts card while this character is on a battlefield. So it's a percent health. Goes type neutral defensively. So this is the orange pickle effect. Wait, yeah, this is the orange pickle effect, because you have to be hit first, yeah, okay? That was always decent, and then... Shun's eyes so count by one, use enemy key. Okay, this is decent. And I'm not looking at this as much as these things I'm looking at more. I'm more so instead of looking at this as orange pickle, I'm looking at this as the fucking gammas. 
so that's pretty decent. Um, Flying events occur if own health is 50% or below after being hit by enemy up attack. What is this? It's on the battlefield. Get health. You need gauge charge rate. This is cancelable. Uh, no, wait, never mind. That's not a rate. It's just you need gauge itself. Okay. Um, 30% 32 odds cost. Um, okay. Slowly charges only need gauge. Every time this character uses an arts card, this character is on a battlefield. That isn't that rose charge rate. I'm not Ella. I'm looking for ultra. I'm pretty sure that's rose charge rate. Um, honey charges. Yeah, this is rose charge rate. Okay, so it's gonna. Be, it's gonna Take a while for it to fully charge. But you do get the permanent 50% right here, so. So, flying effect occur once you engage is full. You draw full hand. You get, pump, you get a huge health boost. Whoa, you get double card draw speed? You go type neutral. Notify a bunch of shit. Notify any auto counters, evade actions, and special actions that activate. Brother. Brother. Why you gotta do my boy dirty like that? What? Why you gotta do my boy dirty like that? Please. Please, my kings. My kings. My god, please! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> the following defense occur when an enemy activates an ultimate or we can optimizing the because it's on a battlefield three times. Whoa, okay. Shun's ally sub count and nullifies buff effects. Um So maybe the unique gauge is different when you pre-post situation, because this is just once, once it's full. In no way they're gonna have that to be the entire unique gauge for Geo Blue. So I'm assuming, but yeah, yeah. Um, fifty double card draw speed for Geo Blue with two hundred and thirty percent damage inflicted, and he also stacks. Yeah, that's gonna be fucking stupid with double card draw speed. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, push transformation. Um, same thing, except now nullifies endurance. You get special move, more special move damage on hit. You destroy a Dragon Ball twice. Use enemy key and destroy all cards. So it really just upgraded it in every way, shape, and form. Wait, did, did the pre have black armor? I forget. I think the pre had. Yeah, it did have black armor. Cool. Um. The special arts can. Okay, wait, hold on. The following effects occur upon activation. Uh, this is the melee based one. Yeah. This is the melee one. You get health, key, unique gauge by 20%. 20% damage inflicted with 15 time accounts. You get this. No! Gogeta Blue! Fuck! Shun's eyes have come by one. Upon a hit, you draw a new card, negative fluctuation, you get to combo from it. Okay. Main ability, you draw a blue card, health key, permanent damage buffs, now you're at 250% damage inflicted. Game regime, gauge back again. This guy has two vanish restorations. Seals ultimates. Okay. Pretty solid. Pretty damn solid main ability. Okay. And okay. So 250 to 60 to 72. Wait. This guy's at 280% damage inflicted. What the fuck? He's at 280% damage? What? Huh? 
Nani the fuck? And then you get this? Okay. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield or transforms. Get key. You reapply this. If you need gay, also applies the following effects itself. Is you need gay just full. So this is upon transformation. No, wait. It's upon this. When you enter the battlefield or transform, you need gauges full. You go type neutral and you get this. Okay. Um. So you really do want to pull that up before you transform. Okay. That could be a hindrance if you are struggling in the beginning and you can't get his unique gauge charged up before you transform. This could hurt you a little bit not having this and the double card draw speed. That could hurt. Um, also apply. Wait, apply the following effect. Sell so every time this gets used, strike a box card. Key damage. Okay. Um, when enemy draws two new cards, when this character is a strike a blast card, you got three or fewer cards, and then you can just full activates once, and resets upon switch. Oh, never mind. I get how unique gauge works now. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll, sh I'll see you in a second. We'll see in a second. The following effects occur when enemy activates auto counter or evade action. Unique gauge charge rate. Shortens eye sub count by five. Okay. This is like before. But it's funny that this guy is supposed to nullify this. But he also has the same thing he's trying to nullify. Um When hit with the enemy's attack with a schedule on the battlefield. Okay, same thing as before. Also reduces impact explosion size damage by 50% for five time accounts if you need gauges full. One to set upon character two. Oh, so you also get this tacked upon it if you need just full. Okay, okay, okay. Um also you do this impact explode and slice in wait. If you need Okay, same as before. So this is shared pre and trans post transformation. So it's not you feel it's not like a beast gauge or purple Gohan gauge where you have to fill up before you transform and then you transform. It just shared between both. Okay, that makes things a lot better. And yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Um, yeah, um, but ne never never explain what the auto counter is. Hold on. I actually need to watch it. We never explained it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. Did it, or maybe they did I read it wrong. Hold on. The following effects occur when any activates. Oh! I get it. This is not about him having an auto counter. Is that when an auto counter or evade is activated against this guy while he's on the battlefield, he gets this. But it's only once. So let's say you're fighting against, um, let me see here. Let's take a look at, I guess the best example is gonna be an Ultra. So let's look at Maja Vegeta right now. Um, let's say you're fighting against him, he has his unique gauge up. If this buff effect wears out, which you get right here, you get this here as well, you also get it on the green card. If this buff effect runs out, and you get whomped by a Majin Vegeta Brass Counter plus blue card, you get this. You get all of this. Okay. This is good. I like this. I like this Vegito is good. He's a good, really offensive character. But my main concern is his teams right now. Future, we'll, we'll, we'll see with Future. We're bringing that team back up right now after being neglected. We'll see how good Future is by the end of celebration. Again, Vision Warrior. I don't see. Unfortunately, I don't see putting. I, I can't see putting this Vegito on Fusion Warrior right now. I can't. I really can't see putting this Vegito on Fusion Warrior right now. Because right now, Fusion Warriors is 
Oh wait, not Fusion, not Fusion Warrior. Um, right now it's Mega's a ne Mega is necessary. He's necessary. You have Gogeta, and then you have Gotenks. That's the core of Fusion Warriors. If you don't have a Mega, which I don't right now, this Vegeta will be welcome. But right now, there's there's no there's no if if you're running the optimal fusion setup, you're gonna be running this three right here. Vegeta, Gotenks, Shenron. Um but God Key I can definitely see this Vegeta being good on God Key. Um You have the new Jose coming out. We'll see how good he is. He's red. And then you have this UI Goku. And then you have this this Vegito, UI Goku, Red Goku Black. That's probably gonna be the God Key setup now. Because God Key wasn't in that good of a spot, honestly. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um now. Let me look at Rose. Um did he say what like type of character he is? I think these guys are green range, that's interesting. And then I'm assuming Google Black is probably gonna be defensive and support. Defense, okay. Um 38% to future, guard key, powerful opponent, strike and blast, defense. 80% to future strike attack. Hold a strike card that reduces any health situation. Hold a blast card that restores own health. Okay, cool. Blue card, we know it's melee based. Special major, ex like massive explode. Special move damage upon activation. Inflicts heavy bleed if you just full. Resets only need gauge zero and a following defense occur upon activation. We get more damage, nullify endurance. So three time accounts. I'm assuming this is gonna move up here. This is gonna move up here, post transformation, I assume. It's just for early on, if you can get that snipe with the blue card, it'll be useful. Okay, I like that. And then Okay, this is a nice blue card. Um, green card. Upon activation, you get... This is the counter. So, you get health. You go type neutral upon activation. The damage received. Nullifies enemy type attack. Strike. It's a melee based um, counter. And other special move and special arts. Okay, that's a big deal. Usually when we have these sort of okay, who's the character that has this? Um this one for now. Let me see if he has like a yeah, counter. Um the last one that had this would be baby, I guess. He like a baby. But normally when a character has a fucking sh um specific counter in this case strike counters, whenever they have this Let's look at baby's green card here. You can see counter will activate upon any melee type action to strike arts. This one includes special moves and special arts cards. So normally what happens is if you can read this, you can just chuck a blue card at this guy and it'll do a shit ton of damage. But you can't even do that. Melee blue and melee green cards, this guy was well, he'll eat them with this. It'll still activate the counter. That's a big fucking deal. It's about damn time since a bunch of other characters. Like, let's take fucking, um. Where is he? Super 17. What the fuck is Super 17? There he is. Um. Because let's look at Super 17 and then his thing fucking. Well, his is different, but. His thing includes blue and green cards. So, yeah. And that's typically what happens with blast counters as well. Um, so, let me start over. So, you get health. Go type neutral defensively. Nullify all strike-based attacks, basically. 
uh, and then upon notification, so upon counter, you draw a card, well, you draw a full hand, you get key, you get a damage buff, whoa, no, reduce enemy advantage, gauge to zero, reduce enemy key, inflict all enemies to see, oh, that's nasty. The only thing is that they could main, they could rush. This could be dangerous for you if you don't play your cards right. So you probably want to... You're probably going to want to tackle, honestly. Wait a second and then tackle. And then, yeah, it's a free combo for you. Turn Rosé, Health Key, Covenal. It's basic. Pretty damn basic. Not as good as Vegito's, but it gets the job done. One battle star, 150, 70 cent, 10 key recovery, card draw. If it's all enemies with no special, what the fuck? No special cover changing. Okay, I need to read this yellow text. If it's all enemies with no special cover changing, I'm about to start. Google Black has incredible, okay, it doesn't tell me. What the fuck does it mean? No fight, special cover change. Uh, if it, no special cover changing. What the fuck do you mean by that? If any characters on your side will be safe from enemy cover changes when they are attacking, giving all of your party members the opportunity to go on the offensive without needing to worry about special cover changes. Whoa! Okay! Okay! Whoa! 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 The only thing I would say is make this uncancelable, but holy fuck! He literally gives his entire team cover no upon battle start. That's fucking wild! Whoa, okay. Okay, two things. This is fucking incredibly strong, but there is like some workarounds. Let's look at just fucking um, MVP 17, because that's the easiest case I can look at having this. MV, uh, 17. Fucking here. The only thing I can say is that if they have one, I'm looking at. Um. Applies buff effect, nullify attribute downgrades. So, yeah. If they have this nullify attribute downgrades effect, I this there could be a chance this may not affect them because it may be considered an attribute downgrade. But, if it doesn't, or they don't have it, this is a really fucking good effect. Giving it to all enemies means you basically give your entire team cover null. I think this is probably up there with one of the stronger abilities in the game. Just, this is fucking insane. Okay, um. When this gets into the battlefield, you get a card, health. Animation count and show before and after, okay. Um, you get key. So you at, oh, you at 220 compared to Vegito 230, so I battle, okay. That's not too big of a deal. You're gonna be bulkier though. You're gonna get type neutral upon entry, defensive. And then you have this as well, okay. Upon laying a strike card or boss card. You get 30% for 10 time accounts once and then key. Okay, I like that, I like that. Wait, did you get key on entry? Wait a second. Oh no. He doesn't get... He doesn't get key on entry. Oh no. Oh no. I know someone's not gonna be happy about that. Someone's not... Someone out there in the universe... I'm not gonna drop names, but they're not gonna be happy. Um... Trunks on top count by 5, but any item is an ult, weekend dodge, or resting rush when the cast is on the battlefield. Okay, um... And then cancels enemy buffs effects when you activate the ult. Or rising rush. Okay, this is good. I think Goku Black is going to be really good. But even right now, without looking at anything else, but two things. One, he has fucking, um... This strike counter. 
which everyone I assume he transforms, he's gonna have blast armor, which is gonna be really good. A blast armor unit with a strike counter is always gonna be really good. We have this, which is fucking insane. I'm assuming there's gonna be a way to get back that battle. And then this. Upon ult, or rush, he cancels buff effect twice, and he has strong sub count upon ult or rush. So, yeah, this is this is good. So you can you can eat a ultimate arts card. Let me go to LF characters real quick. Character LF. You e go tanks or you can wait. You're red to blue. You're worried about blue. Um, you can eat a V mm, ultimate. So hold on, actually, uh, there's not a lot of blue characters in the alt right now. There really isn't. Um, blue. Tullus. You can eat a Tullus ultimate, type neutral. You don't have to worry about VB, you don't have to worry about VB rush. You can throw this guy into VB rush. He'll cancel the fucking no fire endurance. Because of fucking this. Oh actually never mind, because he doesn't have endurance. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see if he gets endurance post transformation. Hold on. Or maybe another ability. Oh, well, here it is. <laughs> Endurance. So, yeah, you, you can throw him in front of a BB rush. Assuming you still have this charge. He'll eat it at type neutral, by the way. He will eat this at type neutral. This guy is pretty, so far, pretty damn decent for dealing with blue units. Okay. I fuck with this Goku Black so far. Okay, um. Actually, no. Wait, he's yellow. Not blue. Yeah, yellow, so you have to worry about red. Well, either way, you can either have type neutral, but red is why I'm fucking... I'm an idiot. This is black. Red, so... Go tanks or You don't have to worry about... Super 17 ult. You can still somewhat see BB, not as often as you used to before. This Mai's ult, she's coming out, she's red as well. That's who I was thinking of, Mai. Um, not a lot of red characters you have to worry about right now, besides Gotenks. And then the occasional Sin Shinron in Super 17, but... Okay, this is still an incredibly good ability. Um, so you have the Endurance. So when your own health reaches zero, you get health. Destroy any cards. Okay, cool. Well, greatly charges the own unique gauge every time I hit with the enemy to talk at the top of the characters on battlefield. So this is the baby unique gauge, right? This is baby. Um I'm looking for greatly here. Yep, this is the baby unique gauge. So three art attack. Things full. Um, when it's full, you get health, shortens allies up count, destroy any two enemy cards, reduce enemy key, and if it's all enemies, it's no special cover changing. Okay. This is how you get it back. At least right now. And then again, you can empty it when you just toss out a blue card. It would've been nice, maybe if you got banished back on this. That way you can throw it out more willy-nilly, just to refresh your gauge. But we'll see what happens, we'll see. We will see what happens, um... So, health. A huge health heal. Shun to count by allies. Destroy two enemy cards. I could see in some world, maybe they could continue comboing, but it would definitely slow them down. I would also like Dragon Ball Destruction here. Dragon Ball Destruction would be really nice. Um, Fighting Fence Recovery when this enemy switches characters while this character's on a battlefield. Get health. Infants enemy with. Ooh. An 
after the enemy attack is over, you get... Ooh. Dude, this Goku Black is really good. Hold on. I don't even need to look at the rest of the kit. Hold on. Um, tag, powerful opponent. Who's on powerful fucking opponent? Not Patara. Fuck. Um, Chalice. And then future and then God key. Um, powerful opponent yellow. Did you say that was needed? That was definitely needed. And this guy throws a really good slot. This Tolis. Tolis, this Goku Black. And then who else could use in powerful opponent right now? Probably not any purple units, I would imagine. Hmm. I would imagine. Hmm. Probably, um, yeah, Omega. Omega, Tolis, and then this Goku Black. That'll be annoying as fuck to fight against. Because he has the future Gohan effect. Future. Uh, let me get rid of this. Or maybe just Gohan by himself. He has the future Gohan support. He has future Gohan support. And he restores health upon end of enemy attack. And it makes it hard for enemies to combo. Because if they switch, they get a shit ton of debuffs. And he gets health back. This is just a bit, this is just so far a power crept future Gohan. Not like a little sense, but this specific ability, this specific combination of abilities, is a power crept future Gohan. Plain and simple, just plain and simple. Um, strike cards now. Yep, there's a blast armor, and then extreme bleed. Yeah, so this green card is gonna be fucking crazy. Um, blast attack that inflicts damage received. And keep in mind, he also still holds from earlier. He still holds the uh, strike off that reduces enemy health devastation, and we also have the blast that restores own health as well. Still, um, blue card. Yep, like I thought. No, if I'm doing, you get range engage back. Okay, exactly what I was thinking before. Special move damage, and upon hit, odds cost extreme bleed. And you can just full. More damage and negative penetration. Okay. Nice. I wish this was like I wish this was twice. But this is still good. Um I'm assuming this is the same green card count as before. Wait, gain a buff effect that nullifies enemy special cover changes while on hit. Oh no, 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 it's been just on now. Okay, I remember now. Because he has, now he has, what is he? Um, because look here. He transforms and then project, and then he base, yeah. Okay, so this base isn't as strong as before, because now, hold on. The thing about this green card counter from earlier is that um, before, I thought you'd get Blast Armor and you keep it, but I forgot he has that fucking other green card, so, this isn't as strong because he doesn't have Blast Armor. What makes these so strong is that it restricts what your opponent can do at close range. So let's take a look at, um, a, the best bet, an example is Orange Piccolo right now. Push transformation. So this guy has blast armor. And he has a counter green card. So this guy, you can't approach him at close range. Because if you blast card him, he'll blast armor through it. If you try to strike card him, he'll have the counter. So you can't do anything at close to mid range with him. Because it'll, it'll, it'll set up for failure. It'll just your movement. But if 
because this Goku Black does not have Blast Armor on Strike, this is not threatening at all. This is nowhere near as threatening as, it, as I imagine it be. This is not threatening. It's still useful, but nowhere near as threatening as, let's say, this combination. Or let's say, fucking Baby from before as well. Baby does the same thing. Um... So, green card. The post-transformation green card. Upon activation, you get a card and key. And uh, depending on even, depending on if it's a fast animation or not, this could depend. Upon hit, you get damage. Covenal. Health restoration. And then combo. And then Nick Gage is full. Okay, you have another way to reset the unique gauge. Okay, cool. You get health. You get a nice little heal. You get damage cut and strong allies to camp by two. Okay, that's nice. Main ability, draw blue card, health key. You get your full unique gauge. Okay, okay, okay. And you go true type neutral. Given there's only like one or two red units out right now, that really makes you scared, honestly. Uh, red. Please, show me. There's only like one or two red units out that makes me scared. Super 17, Super 17, sorry, and then Scarlet Shanks. Otherwise, red is not really that scary of an element. Of course, my, we need to look at what my does, so far she looks crazy. But, this is nice to have in the future. Um, transformation, you get 40%. So before I said that he's at 220. Now he's at 260. Um key recovery, restoration. Yeah, everything's the same as before. Um when laying a strike a blast card, same thing. But now it's up to 40%. Okay, nice. Um I said he was at 260 before, so now he's at 300. Okay. Same thing as before with this, and then same thing as before, same thing as before. Yeah. We once you need to get just four. It resets to zero in the following effect. Wait, what? Once the unique gauge is full, it resets to zero and a following effects occur. What? Hold on, how does this work? What? Wait, how does that fucking work then, huh? Where you charge the unique gauge every time when hit with an enemy auto attack while the script is on the battlefield. Once the unique gauge is full, it resets to zero and a following effects occur. Okay, that they fucked up. They fucked up with wording here. Cause how does this how does this work? Hold on. Because with the this this requires unique gauge to be full. The green card and the blue card requires extra it requires unique gauge to be full for have having extra buffs, but this resets. This resets when it's full, though. This is a fucking mistake. This is a mistake, because th that, that's, that's not how unique gauges work. That, that, that's, not how unique, that's not how unique gauges work. They fucked up the wording here. Video, help me. Video, video. Okay, yeah, I have to go for Goku Black's banner. I need a mega. I need a mega. I need a mega. I have to go on Goku Black's banner. I have to. <laughs> Vegito might be more fun, but I actually need both this Goku Black and this Omega. I actually need those two. If I could get both, holy fuck. Yeah, I'll be set. Um, so yeah, hold on. Wait a second. Um, okay, here's... Okay, the only way I can think of... But the wording is the same as Broly, though. This is the exact same wording as Broly. Is it not? 
I don't I th I think they I don't think they meant to include this line here. This line doesn't make sense compared to the rest of the abilities because the video says he uses his unique gauge to empty uh, his blue and green card. What is it? Blue and green card. Both of these reset the unique gauge in the video. We never said anything about the unique gauge resetting once it's full in the video. So I'm assuming this is a mistake. So it works just like before. So the proper way is, where is it, right? This is what they meant. This is what they meant. This right here is what they meant instead of this. So Gritly charges the only unique gauge every time when hit, when hit with an enemy's ice attack or this character's on the battlefield, the following effects occur when the unique gauge is full. Blah, 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 blah. And then now we can read it. So, results are not by 25%. Ghost type neutral. Turn up count. Destroy too many cards. Key. Dragon Ball Destruction. Inflicts all enemies with no special cover change. Okay. Yeah. So, my thoughts? Right now, I think Goku Black is going to be better than VB. Not because VB is bad. Because it's because VB either has all his slots taken up or he just doesn't have a home. Like, I could imagine future, like, for example, VB, Goku Black, and then, hold on, character, future, and then the new Mai coming out. That could be a good future setup, or you can have fucking. Yeah, actually, no, that's the only good future setup right now, actually. Shit. <laughs> but, the future is going to be his only home. That and Gaki, in which case, Gaki is also not the most pristine state right now. Um, because we have UI, again, this Goku Black, and this VB. If you don't have these two units, you're probably not going to be running Vegito. Because Vegito's other two teams are Vision Warrior and Vision Warrior, Gaki, Future. Again, Future already said, Gaki already said, and in Future, and Vision Warrior, this is the mainstay. You're not going to run double green right now when Ultimate Gohan is still as good as he is. So it's going to be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Gotenks, Mega. He's not going to have a place on Future, um, I mean, Fusion Warrior, unless you don't have a Mega. And then, Goku Black is a different case. Goku Black is a much different case. Where his teams could use him, and they're all in a really good spot. Gaki, already mentioned. Powerful opponent, like I said earlier. Um, Tullus, Omega, and then this new Goku Black. Literally, this team has three lives. Goku Black has Endurance. Omega has, um, fucking what's it called? It's indestructible. And then Tullius has his comeback. So, yeah. And then, again, Future, like I said earlier, it's, it's you either have a new unit, or you don't run a team. Pretty simple. Um, the only thing really Vegito has going for him right now is his color. Because he'll fuck over Ultra Tullius, for Jose, purple, I mean, yellow is really good for him because he can deal with Gogeta, he can deal with Carl Jr., which you don't really see often, but he's still not bad. It's just that Majin Vegeta er erased him. And then Ultimate Gohan. Ultimate Gohan's also still really good, so that helps him. That helps take care of that as well. It's mainly just these three, plus the occasional Ultra Golden Freezer. That's all you see for purple. And then red, you only see really go tanks and maybe for some reason Shin or Broly is the winning team. This is not the red's not really a threat right now. I like Goku Black better right now. I do. Vegito has really good offensive abilities, but it's depend on you actually gaining that priority and comboing, which I mean he has this. He nullifies the fucking counters and cover notes and all of that shit. He, he, he nullifies all of that, which is really fucking strong. But it's just that his teams...
don't have a place for him right now. They just don't. They just don't have a place for him. It's that simple. Google Black, he has a home. So yeah, right now I think Google Black is better than Vegito. And then... Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, I have no CC. By the time the banner drops, I think I have like 4.4 thousand CC in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you liked what you saw, you can like, comment, subscribe, do, the, uh, do all that good shit for me. But I'm going to just say this right now. Right now, fellas, I'm fucking cooked.